I worked with a young man named Matt. He had a powerful work ethic, always had other colleagues' backs, cordial, knowledgeable, kind. He always functioned as if he had others in mind, but that was the extent of our connection. So I was surprised when one day, with an expression of reflection, Matt asked, do you really believe in healing? And in a moment, I could feel the familiar feelings of confidence course through me. You see, Matt wasn't trying to disprove my history with God. He was simply curious. The stories, the questions stole minutes and hours. And once Matt was so flummoxed by the power of God, he kept asking, what is happening? As he looked around in a daze, and I thought experiencing the tangible presence of God is knowing you're the subject of his gaze. And over the course of a month, I'd shared about salvation, redemption, healing, conviction, the presence, God's essence, and the reverence I held for Jesus. And one day, Matt tells me that a week and a half prior, he'd given his life to Jesus. He told me that he did exactly as I'd shared with him from my stories. And if Matt's curiosity was alive before, it was exploding now. He wanted to know about prophets and why they sacrificed lambs and cows. He started reading the Bible from Genesis and posed questions regarding Leviticus. But my favorite is when we discussed Christmas. Matt wondered, we exchange gifts, but isn't Christmas really about the Lord giving us Jesus? And there I was, seasoned in the love of God, fully immersed in the beauty of the Trinity, but this new child of God had me returning to the beginning. That he gave us connection for our disconnection. That he gave us the wail of a newborn baby for centuries of silence. That he gave us peace in the middle of violence. That he gave us freedom from the law of religion. That he gave us certainty in times of indecision. That he gave us liberty for our captivity. That he galvanized us in our inactivity. That he redeemed our histories. That the word of God was born in the pains of childbirth as divinity wrapped in flesh. That Jesus wasn't just a savior, but our refresh. Isn't Christmas the story of us knowing the nature of our King? That he is Elohim, God. Adonai, our Lord, El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty, El Olam, the everlasting God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Nisi, God, our banner, Jehovah Shalom, God, our peace. Jehovah Ra, the Lord is my shepherd. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, the God that never left. Emmanuel, the God that is close. Emmanuel, the God we adore. Emmanuel, the God that calls us by name. Emmanuel, the God that moves our hearts. Oh God, you my heart, God. You move my heart, Jesus. Emmanuel, the God of Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us. So let us celebrate the God who's given us the best gift, his presence. Glory. Glory, 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 glory to the newborn King. Glory 
to the newborn King. Glory to the newborn King. Glory to the newborn King. Glory, 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 glory.
desire of nations bind all people in one heart and mind. Be there, be strife and quarrel cease. Fill all the
Jesus comes while your world is cold outside. Jesus comes when all is dark. Jesus comes and he is the light. Oh, he Okay.